So in the last video I showed you how to create a sticky header. Typically you would put that on multiple pages um, so that you've got consistency of navigation and a consistent look and feel to the website. So how do we do that? Rather than just copying and paste it, let's make a master. I can either select the dynamic panel, that is my header, right click and choose create master here, just above where we created our dynamic panel before. Or I can go into arrange in the top menu and again just above create dynamic panel which we used before, we're going to create a master. So I'll just do that now and we'll give that a name. Always name your things logically so they're easy to find. By the time you finish making this website, you will have a lot of different master elements, a lot of different elements on your pages, and it just makes life a lot easier, especially when it comes to creating the interactions later. So I will call this um, header master and click continue. And now you can see where we had our libraries there, if I click on masters we can see header master there and you can see up here it's now in pink to tell me this is the master. Now this is interesting, if I go to um, beach and drag that over, you see how it lets me drag it anywhere I want and that might not be the effect that you want, you might want it to be consistent. So I'll just delete that. What you can do is if you right click on the header master and I'll just zoom in so you can see this, you see how we've got drop behaviour. Currently by default it is place anywhere and that allows you to place these masters anywhere on the page. You can also choose to lock it to the master location. So if I select that one and go to a new page and I drag that over, see how it just snaps to the top left. So I'll snap that to the top left and so forth and so forth. So this ensures, whoopsie, hang on, I'll get rid of that because I accidentally had another H1 there. There we go. So now if I go back to index and preview, we've got it left aligned. We don't want it left aligned. What can we do about that? Well, we need to go in and edit the header master. You don't edit on these pages. If I double click on that, it just goes to the header master anyway. Um, so I'm going to select that. Pen browser, we'll do that in the center, not the top left. And now if I preview this, it's in the center. Let's go to this, okay, and you can see where we've dragged it onto a page, it's in exactly the same spot each time. So that shows you how you can create a master from your header, how you can then drag that to all the different pages, but also how you can change these settings, the drop behavior, so that you can have it locked to the same place on each page. Thank you.